Come on over here, we're going to dress you properly in safari fashion. He likes this costumes. This is the G GQ of stuff. One must always have a fashion sense in the outdoors. We are slaves to it. Okay, there you go. That's your safari jacket. What is this? Okay, what we're standing on here, Ali, is this is a remnant of a gun emplacement, a cannon emplacement. So this is part of the old Fort San Jacinto. So in Galveston, Galveston County, we're gonna have three big forts here. We're gonna have Fort San Jacinto here, Fort Crockett down by the San Luis, and across the harbor by the lighthouse is Fort Travis. Now this is all, big military installations with cannons and gun batteries in it. So when I say gun battery, a battery, a gun battery, is large cannons working together as a team. Play. I think this is it right up here, Lee. And this is one of the concrete gun batteries. This is built early 20th century, and if you notice, it's concrete. A lot of stuff. The other thing with these batteries, later these are built when these are designed, there's no airplanes. So this is built big, thick concrete for shell coming off of a ship going at a flat trajectory, hitting into the side of this. This would have had earth all around it also, and Later, of course, once you get airplanes, you can shoot it from the top. You can bomb it from the top. So this right. thing is pretty obsolete. By the time of World War II, this is obsolete. And luckily, this never got hit by. This was shell. never fired upon. Right. So what we're seeing right here, just think, of, there's a cannon mounted here. Smaller cannon, rapid fire gun. This gun is to shoot at smaller boats that might get into the harbor here. So if we're soldiers stationed here, we're going to be looking observation from here we can see across to the uh, Fort Travis so if you look here some of these bolts these are mounts for the cannon so cannons would have been mounted on this similar to a cannon on the deck of a ship so the bolts are still here end of World War II late in the war this stuff's all obsolete they take it out here they scrap it for the war effort they need a lot of scrap metal so actually now we have more Civil War cannons than we do cannons of this period from this Endicott system here. So we got a gun mount here. We're going to have another gun mounted over here. Now, and also so think about the soldiers that were stationed here. Now, if you look around here, you would have thought probably during World War I or II, this would have been probably pretty boring to you. But considering the trenches of World War I, uh, what's going on in that, considering if you're here during World War II, Galveston Island probably beats the heck out of freezing happy. death on the Battle of the Balls <laughs> or dying of malaria or Japanese bullets on Guadalcanal. So it's probably not a bad, I wouldn't be complaining too much. Right. What do you think was stored right there? They would have... Uh, Lunch? Lunch. <laughs> Probably their ready ammunition. It means that's stuff they could you could get it right here, put it in the gun, fire. Boom. Another soldiers, another group of soldiers be carrying ammunition from here, putting it in here. Right. So this group is firing a gun, aiming and firing. They did fire it for practice. They never fired it in, in anger in combat. Oh wow! Look, look, storage. Yeah. So here you would have had. This would have been ammunition. So you can see how stout this is built. Look at the huge iron, almost like railroad tracks above us here. Look how thick the walls are. This is if you got magazine, this is powder magazine, ammunition magazine. So you would have been quickly handing the stuff out. This window would have been a passageway so you don't have to have our doors open, our blast doors. You have a, a a door on this side, a door on the other side. So it's never open altogether. So when we open this to put a piece of ammunition or powder there, we close the door, the other guy opens it. It's all protected. 
A modern, or not a modern battleship, Battleship Texas will have very similar mechanisms for these things. So you can imagine how hot and miserable it would be in here. Yes, I can. Now they painted these early on with these things. They would be black. And why they're black is it's a mixture of tar and linseed oil. And linseed oil cuts the tar so you can paint it on. Now why you want to tar on it, it's like having tar paper on your roof. It cuts down the moisture and the dampness. Of course we got powder in here, we got communication lines and stuff. Now. The other thing, think about that tar. It's 100 degrees in Galveston. You think that tar gets a little uh, sticky. sticky and stuff? Yeah, it would be a mess out here early on. Uh, but you're in the Army, and just do what you're told. <laughs> and don't light a cigarette. <laughs> do not light a cigarette around it. This, this is like our Galveston Stonehenge. It's what we got, so we're trying to make use of it. <laughs> It looks like people are using it. Too. Yeah, I believe people are using it up to uh, not quite to historical purposes. <laughs>